video is long overdue. We've been dying to film what we do for our food prepping. And this is something that took us a while to get down because before Poppy was here, we would eat out literally every night. Our food bill was so high. And lunches. Lunches, dinners, and then we would get Starbucks or coffee for breakfast. We were spending an insane amount on food. When Poppy started eating consistently, she started eating consistently full meals at one when we can do honey and all the things that we could add into our diet. We really started reflecting on that we wanted to be able to eat the same meals as Poppy because what we were doing is making these healthy meals for her, but we were still ordering out. One of our goals for the new year, 2023, was to make more food at home. And in that, we're able to control what ingredients we put in and really just have a healthier lifestyle that's quick and easy and more affordable. So that's what we did. We weren't, really weren't sure if we were gonna stick through it all of January and we did so well. We actually loved it so much because we looked back at our food bill from the end of January and it was a third of our original spending. It was insane. Definitely a third and then also we're not worrying about what do we need to eat for the night. Right, that like, was a lot of wasted time just thinking about. We already knew it was like right at six o'clock. We started making dinners and we were done by seven, seven thirty. Then we were so consistent. Bath, so. What we also found out is each Friday I would start to food prep the list for shopping on Saturday, which today is Saturday, and we do all our food food shopping this day. What I kept finding is that we would want those same recipes the following week, and I was kind of doing a lot of the work again when really I should have just kept those recipes for the month and then switched over recipes at the top of the next month. Because we are really only having each recipe once a week. So you're only having it four times a month. So we haven't gotten sick of it. I feel like it saves us money because we're not re having to buy all these other spices for the meals. So we are gonna show you what we're doing for next week. What we do on Saturdays is we go and buy all of our food. I am not someone who knows how to cook when I started doing this. These recipes are all very simple, easy to prep, and very quick on the night of. Jaden loves them. She's a little bit, she's probably the pickiest eater of all of us. Poppy loves all these meals. What is your thoughts about it? More efficient, we spend less money. Don't have to think about it. I can prep the, on the night of, it takes me 10 minutes to put all the ingredients together or for like soups in the morning, put it all together. As much as we can, we go to the farmer's market on Saturday mornings to get most of the produce. Sometimes if we can't wake up early enough for that, then we'll go to Trader Joe's because we found that Trader Joe's is the cheapest for produce for us. Not Whole Foods. Sometimes they're out of random produce and we have to get that at Whole Foods because Whole Foods has everything. We buy all produce organic to cut down on the pesticides and the chemicals. We try to avoid pre-cut vegetables. So we'll buy heads of broccoli, heads of cauliflower. So we go to Trader Joe's first and we mark off our list and we try to buy all the canned items from Whole Foods because they do offer a BPA free, the 365 brand. I also shop on Thrive Market, which is a subscription app. I can put the details in the description. I found that Trader Joe's doesn't have BPA free cans. So that's how we do it. So on our way to We're Trader's. on our way to Trader Joe's and I always get fresh flowers because that's always a fun part of the week and I really look forward to it. <laughs> going in there with a list because before we would always go in there and just buy random snacks and frozen food and I feel like we didn't really talk with a purpose. So now we buy way less snacks because I make a lot of them at home so that we're eating way healthier and I'm not wasting money. So that's nice. We always go in there hungry. <laughs> I know. It's we need to stop going in there when we're starving. Off the whole food. <laughs> when we got home, we realized we didn't have the setup we needed to film the above shots that we wanted for this YouTube video. So Anthony, you'll have to show this contraption later. The Custom thing is built. crazy and it's really cool. So this will help us film like this and also have it on the above. Poppy's playing Legos off to the side and Jane is laying out by the pool. So we're, left, we're left to ourselves. <laughs> Poppy, are you having fun over there? So now that we have all the ingredients, the main thing is prepping all the vegetables. So the night of the recipes are way quicker. We have we just pull them out of our containers and we add them to the recipe. Mm -hmm. We found that a lot of the time the prep work is what takes a while. On the night of, you're having to make the tomatoes, cut the onions, even if there's three vegetables, it still adds at least 15 minutes to the whole dinner. Which one should we start Let's with first? <laughs> So we go down the list of our Monday through Friday dinner 
and we prep all the vegetables in advance, which makes it so easy. Anthony is the best cutter, so he's working on all the broccoli. He's careful. <laughs> I actually look forward to food prepping so much because we kind of are all together as a family and well, Jaden's not with us. Hmm. Poppy, you're the only one hanging out with us right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's forced to. <laughs> Ooh, behind the scenes of our contraption. So I've been really looking forward to food prepping. <laughs> Oh, Poppy wants to peel it, she said. Um, that one's too dangerous for you to do. It's a little sharp. Usually I'm Don't doing do something it. else. Should I move forward and do something different? I feel <laughs> useless right now. Typically I have my camera set up, but this thing is taking up the vibe. Okay, Poppy is over there about to help me. Thank you for helping mommy with the muffins. Okay, let me show you this chopper that is so cool. I also have this linked in my Amazon storefront. It is made chopping onions and pretty much any vegetables so much easier. Our eyes used to burn so bad from the onions and now using this, it's been so nice. This is how we're chopping all the potatoes for our mashed potatoes on Monday. Meanwhile, Poppy's gonna help me make the muffins. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this in each one. Can you take that apart from mommy? Go like this. We'll put one in there. Good job. Good job. We're gonna fill them up, okay? You're fast at this. Okay, you have to push it all the way down. Can you push them all the way in? There you go, push them in like that. Good job. Well, this is taking a bit longer than normal. Amazing, we're gonna leave that to the side now because we have to work on the next thing. What are we doing next up? What are we doing? <laughs> Okay, so we are going to scoop the oat flour into here. Yeah, you're gonna dump it on me. Okay, here you go. Poppy, you can put this in the... You're gonna dump this one in there for me. Good job. Now I need your help mixing. Baby. Mix, mix, mix. What did you say to put this in the water? Dad, look at she's helping me mix. Wow. Do you eat some of it? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not gonna eat it, it's just powder. No more trying to eat the food before it's ready, okay? This is the salt. You're gonna dump the salt in. Good job. Okay, now I need you to mix, mix, mix. Oh my gosh, this is stressful trying to go quick. Okay, three, four teaspoons. How come I can't find it? Oh, here we go, I found it. I found it, Poppy. Yeah, I found it, Poppy. I'm gonna dump that in there. So we're done with this for now, and we're gonna go do the wet ingredients, okay? So, Mommy. What the heck? Girl, what? You know how to do it? Yes, you did it. Oh, there's a lot of shells in there. It's okay. Okay, Poppy, I think that's good for that. I'm gonna mix the egg, hold it straight up like this, straight, okay? When it fills up to the top, then you're gonna dump it in there, okay? Okay, almost there, okay? Ready? Dump it, good job. Let's go ahead and mix that together. Okay, let's see. So then we're doing one teaspoon vanilla extract. Let's do the... Okay, turn it. Good job. Okay, you wanna mix it together? One half cup almond milk. Shake, shake, shake. Ice, it's almond milk. Okay, hold on, let me fill it up and then you can dump it. Okay. Good job. Okay, you're doing so well. One tablespoon olive oil, ready? Okay, Poppy, you're gonna dump it for me. Okay, Poppy, you can dump this. Dump. Good job. Sweet potato. This? This? Sweet potato. This? Sweet Add dry ingredients to wet oh. ingredients. How about you said sweet tomato? Poppy ate the end of that. Okay, mix, mix, mix. Poppy, you guys are doing great. Sisters helping together. See, you're doing great. Have a hug. This 
Envy. It's gonna go in here, right? Oh, but don't eat them because that's going in our. Bobby, don't eat them because that's going in our thing. These are good. Don't eat them, you guys. I measured it out. Everyone, don't take. Hey, don't take away from the recipe. Okay, sweetie. I need you to do this, Poppy. <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> she snatched it. Can you give me one? Go like this. Mix them like this. Mix, mix, mix. Can you go like that? Blueberries. Blueberries. We're ready to mix this into here, okay? Are we ready? You want to dump those in? Let's mix these together. These are so good, so we're going to put them in the muffin pans. But I might have to do that myself because I don't want you looking. <laughs> Poppy, thank you so much for helping me with my muffins. Can you say bye? Bye. The muffins are going in the oven. Thank you, Poppy, for your help. These look so good. So Jaden usually takes these to school in the morning and Poppy eats them for a snack during the week. So they're nice for just grab and go and they're pretty healthy ingredients. Jay, when you do the kale, you just chop it, huh? Or did uh, you? I've only done kale once, but I usually just cut it off. Do you peel it off? The but thing? you peel it off the stalk, didn't no. you last time? You left it on the stalk. I just cut it like this. That's not right. I'm almost positive you're supposed to take it off the thing. I did that last time. We're gonna go in the pool for a little bit now. That was fun. Did you like food prepping with mama? Mm, yeah. You, you helped me mix, mix, mix mm. the muffin mix, huh? Dump. And you dumped it. Everything looks so colorful. And that was also one of our goals for this year was to eat more colorfully. And I feel like we're accomplishing that with fresh prepped food. And the recipes are overall really easy. It's Monday night and we defrosted the fillets last night. And this morning we just covered them in whatever seasoning we had. This one's a chimichurri rub that Anthony likes to use for his steaks. We also love to just put the everything seasoning from Trader Joe's on this one. Jay loves this one. So kind of just like put whatever seasonings you have. Sometimes the sun has garlic, it just depends. Just make it however you want. This mashed potato recipe is so good. It's a little bit of a healthier version and it is so delicious. So we love making this one. This helps so much already having the potatoes already prepped. You just pull them out of the fridge and add it all together so this is a very easy dinner night but it's overall really healthy which is nice about having food prepped in advance also too when i started making salmon i wasn't quite too sure on how to cook it so i found these meter probes basically the temperatures and you put them in the salmon fillets and then you can tell it what type of temperature you would like the salmon to be cooked at at the oven temperature. So right now i always cook at 425 so these probes connect to the app on my phone I let the app know that I want these well done or medium, and then it sets a timer and it kind of does the work for me instead of trying to guess like, is the salmon done? And again, pretty good at it, it's pretty easy. And then also instead of using aluminum foil, there's these silicone baking sheet mats and they come in different sizes. So this is really easy because you just clean it off and reuse them. So, yep, that's how we do the flies. Could there be an easier way to do this? All right, the salmon is ready. The app told me to remove from heat and then it'll let me know that the salmon needs to rest and when it's done resting, when it's ready to eat. So good. I'm ready. We got vegetable broth and sour cream and then Because the go. potatoes will melt it. And then I'm using a whisk. Nope, hot. That hurt. Is this going to be enough potatoes? It doesn't look like it. it. Smells really good though. Okay, so for the broccoli, we like to saute. I like to saute it a little bit. So I'll put some oil. Broccoli. Salt and pepper, just to get a little bit crispy, and then I'll add a little bit of water. 
later to make it soft. So pop can eat it too. How do you make that bass broccoli? Yummy, yummy. Poppy, what is daddy making? What is that? Poppy, what is this? Oh! What's Poppy, that? what's that? Just stuck on this now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on, watch. This is how you do it. Go like this. Whoa, it's going everywhere. Okay. What the heck? You like the mashed potatoes? As the broccoli starts to get more darker green, I throw in a tablespoon of minced garlic. I also like to throw in the coco aminos, soy sauce. This is the final product, you guys. It's so delicious. And Poppy loves it. It's a quick and easy meal. Super healthy. Ready to eat? Okay. She wants to eat it right now. I need to get it on your plate as mommy's. She wants to eat it, but she's like, broccoli too hot, salmon too hot. Tonight we're making veggie tacos and I love this recipe because I can put a lot of hot sauce on it. It's still really healthy, but it gives me that hot sauce feeling, like I'm at Mexican food. It's actually pretty delicious. Really delicious, really filling. The next day I also like to have leftovers for lunch and I'll put the le butter lettuce around it. It's so good and I love to put the cashew cream. I'm making the cashew cream sauce right now and I put the hot sauce, it's so delicious. So I threw all my prepped veggies in this bowl and then all the seasoning. It smells I so good. I could have prepped the seasoning beforehand and just kind of kept it in a Ziploc baggie, but Mm, I got lazy, so I just did it now. And so we'll mix this, add some oil into the veggies, mix that all around, and then place it on a pan. I mixed the veggies with the seasoning and laid it all out on the pan. And then we'll set the oven to 400 and cook for about 30 to 40 minutes. Halfway through though, we'll add some black beans. So for the cashew cream sauce that's a part of this recipe, usually I recommend making it the night before because it takes two hours to soak the cashews. The cashews, I soaked it earlier in the day, so it's ready to go. All right, so everything's in the blender and we're gonna chop it up. The jalapeno and the lemon on this really gives it the flavor. It's so good. So I have to grind this for a little bit to get it a creamy texture. But at first it seems like the cashews are soft, but they're not easily pourable mixtures. So you want to make sure it's really spreadable and can easily go in your tacos. Here is the final product. Throw it in some- So excited. On a tortilla with your- Cashew cream sauce. And we also have Hawaiian chili pepper sauce from Kauai. This one's a Kauai habanero and the mango garlic goes. So we're going to try these on the tacos and see what we think. Actually, this is the final product. Oh my gosh, it's so spicy. Tonight we are making chicken broccoli pineapple stir fry and it is so delicious. There are all these chopped veggies that made it so nice for prepping over the weekend and just pull it out and add it into your stir fry. This recipe is very quick, very delicious. I already prepped the sauce over here. We have coconut sugar instead of brown sugar has honey for a little bit of sweetness and the brown rice underneath it is gonna be delicious. Oh my God. Okay, the final product and it is so delicious. Oh my God. Jay's already eating it. You're supposed to wait for everyone. So good. So good. Poppy's dying to try it. So highly recommend. Thursday night, one of my favorite meals. I keep saying this every night. All these meals are so good. But this is the easiest, like not having to prep anything before. Super so quick. Cauliflower pasta, and then Brittany likes her pasta spaghetti squash. squash. Spaghetti squash. Okay, it's only 85% less carbs with calories, but Look at the ingredients, organic spaghetti squash. But it doesn't make you feel so bloated like after you like eat pasta. I always feel extremely disgusted with myself, but you can eat a ton of this stuff and- You're still fine. getting vegetables and we can still put hot sauce on it. It still feels like we're having pasta. With our spicy pasta sauce. And then to do like a, a meat sauce, I do a Beyond Meat with this. That one, Beyond Meat is the only one we found for a plant-based meat that doesn't have soy. Because the impossible one. Had so, soy, so we wanted to avoid that. It tastes that. really good, but this still tastes great. And we've got some seasoning and yeah, your own pasta and meat sauce. Love that. So now we have spaghetti squash with Beyond Meat and a delicious spicy sauce. And I also added some chili flakes to it too. It's so good. It gives you that pasta feeling without feeling the bloated pasta feeling. So tonight's dinner is very easy to do. You put in all your ingredients in a crock pot, have it sit for four to six hours, 
If you need to speed it up, you can go on high. I like to do it low for about six to eight hours. And then if you want to add a little bit of earth, we added some pasta noodles, but it's these superfood shells, gluten-free. So basically they're green lentil, cauliflower, and parsnip. This is absolutely delicious. I completely forgot to film everything because it's so easy just to dump everything in once all the vegetables are prepped. Such an easy night dinner. And also we squirted a lemon wedge at the very end, some shea Parmesan. And I also highly recommend putting a little hot sauce in it because it is so spicy and good. I added some pepper on top. It's very delicious and it hits the spot. It almost makes you want fall happening again. That is our Mediterranean. Full of veggies, quick, easy night dinner. 